I was walking through the countryside one day back in Ireland when I was about 17 years old, and I heard the shout for help, help. And I ran over, and there was a farmer and his tractor and his pregnant cow. And I said, what seems to be the matter, sir? And the farmer said, ah, my poor pregnant cow is in the process of giving birth. But the poor wee calf is stuck inside. Those of you here who've lived in the countryside know that the only way to get a stuck calf out of a cow is to tie a rope around its legs and pull it out gently with a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was just a wee slip of a lad back then, the farmer decided that I would be the one that would tie the rope around the calf's legs. So he picked me up horizontally and inserted me into the cow's birth canal. And I worked my way up inside the cow, inch by inch, until just my rubber boots were sticking out, and I tied the rope around the calf's legs. Meanwhile, back outside, the farmer got the other end of the rope. He tied it to the bumper of the tractor. He then took out his whiskey bottle, took a big drink, and then poured the rest of us in the gas tank of the tractor for extra power. And then he sat on the tractor. He turned the ignition key and revved it, revved it, revved it, causing sparks and smoke to head up towards the cow. Up front, the cow was going, I want the epidural now! Meanwhile, back inside the cow, <laughs> I heard the muffled sound of the tractor starting up, and I felt the cow's muscles contract, and I started to become afraid, and I tried to reverse out, but I was stuck, and I knew I would have to send a distress signal to the farmer, and then I thought to myself, I'm an engineer, I can do something, ah, Morse code! Da, 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 dash, 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 da, da, dot. If only it had been 30 years back in the, fu in the future, I could have simply sent a text message. <laughs> SIC, stuck in cow. <laughs> Bring, LOL, lots of lubricant. <laughs> What happens next, I need to paint you the full picture. Try and keep up. Up front, the cow is now doing the Lamaze breathing. <laughs> pain killers, pain blockers, ice chips. Back inside the cow. Dot, 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 dash, dash, dash. Dot, dot, dot. Let me out of here. And then I force myself to relax. Dave, Dave, you need to learn to relax. Someday you may work in a corporate office. <laughs> and then I reached into my pocket and I took out my cigarette and my lighter and I lit it. Some of you may be thinking that it's rude to smoke inside a pregnant cow. <laughs> but back in Europe, you can smoke wherever you want. <laughs> back outside, the farmer saw smoke rings coming from around my boots. <coughs> he thought to himself, what the heck is that? And then, he realized, I don't have fire insurance for my cow. And he did what any young Irish Catholic farmer would do. He blessed himself and he panicked. He revved and revved and revved the tractor, let the clutch out, put it into reverse gear. The tractor reared up on its back wheels, throwing mud up towards the cow. The rope went hot. There was an almighty slurping noise followed by a gigantic pop. The calf and I went flying through the air and landed in a heap on the ground. 
I had been born again. <laughs> and there beside me was the most beautiful non-identical twin. 